There are billions of stars in the universe, but one alone dominates our cosmic neighborhood, the sun. It's an infernal sphere of mostly hydrogen and helium, superheated into a plasma that burns at millions of degrees. Its surface rages with violent explosions as it spews out storms of deadly radiation millions of miles into space. Our sun is a type of star known as a yellow dwarf. Yellow because of the color of its surface and dwarf because it's small for a star. But small is relative. Within its boundaries, you could fit one million Earths. Our star is an enormous source of heat and energy. It has a surface temperature of 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit and generates 380 billion billion megawatts of power. In one second, the sun churns out more energy than has been used in all of human civilization. All that power in the blink of an eye. Incredibly, it's been burning this way for billions of years. The sun. It lights our world, heats our planet, controls our weather. The sun's gravity even keeps Earth from drifting off into the icy cold depths of space. The sun forms the center of our solar system and contains more than 99% of its mass. Our home star's diameter is 864,900 miles, 109 times greater than that of the Earth. Because of its immense size, the sun has a powerful gravitational force, powerful enough to hold eight planets, more than 200 moons, and countless other celestial bodies in orbit. One of those planets, Greek for wanderers, is our own home, planet Earth, 92 million miles from the sun. The star we orbit, the star that forms the center of our solar system, is more than four and a half billion years old. It has no solid surface. Rather, it is comprised of gases, mainly hydrogen, helium, oxygen, and carbon. Every second, 700 million tons of hydrogen are converted to helium, releasing 5 million tons of energy. The sun's surface is called the photosphere. Temperatures here can exceed 9,900 degrees Fahrenheit. At the sun's core, temperatures reach a staggering 127 million degrees, and the energy created at the core takes nearly 100,000 years to reach the surface. Once it gets there, this energy escapes as radiation, and just eight minutes later reaches the Earth in the form of light. The sun, for us, is without a doubt the most important star in the universe, and studying it is key, both to our understanding of the cosmos and to the future of our species. To us, it's the powerhouse at the heart of the solar system, a blazing colossus generating heat and light and life, the sun. Its story begins over five billion years ago. A giant star is dying. It explodes as a supernova, the shockwave blasting through space toward a cloud of hydrogen. The cloud collapses, forming rings of gas and dust. At the core, a nuclear furnace fires up. Our sun is born. So too, the nine planets of the solar system. This empire of the sun is like a bubble. It's called the heliosphere. Within, the sun reigns supreme. Beyond is interstellar space. For the sun is a star, and as such, a beacon of energy. It heats and lights our world. All life depends on it. The power we generate from fossil fuel is stored sunlight, energy that nurtured plants millions of years ago. This is the solar surface, the yellow photosphere. Temperature, about 10,000 degrees. And above it, the fireworks of the red chromosphere. We need to understand the sun 
because the sun changes our lives every day. We all know that the sun makes the weather, but when we're flying things in space, astronauts, satellites, the sun affects them even more directly. The sun puts out what we call space weather. Space weather causes problems with our satellites, our astronauts, our communication systems here on Earth, and our navigation systems.